Hello everyone, how it's going? This video series are going to introduce the published papers and recent studies of me and Professor David Levinson from Transport Lab. Transport Lab is a new funded interdisciplinary research group at the University of Sydney, aiming to find solutions to recent transportation problems. For this presentation series, we will have five short videos for about 10 minutes each. For more details, please see the links below the videos and read our papers. If you have further questions, please contact me via my email address. Okay, let's get back to today's topic. The main study we focus on is to investigate how vehicles behave in lane changing scenarios under the framework of the game theory. We will first look at a review of game theory based lane changing models. So what's going on in this field? The motivation of drivers to change lanes could be that they are blocked by their slow moving leading vehicles. So they would like to execute discretionary lane changes to overtake those slow moving vehicles. Drivers can then increase their speeds and avoid rear-end collisions. There is another type of lane changes that drivers have to change lanes for route choices if they want to leave or enter the main traffic stream. Otherwise, they need to take much more time to do U-turns or backstrapping. We call them mandatory lane changes. When drivers change lanes, they need to interact with the vehicles driving behind in their target lanes. So they will have a competition, or we say a game, with each other. In this lane changing game, two vehicles will be considered. The vehicle prepares to change lanes, the merging vehicle, and the vehicle driving behind but in another lane, the leg vehicle. The merging vehicle has two strategies, either to change lane to its target lane or stay in the current lane. The leg vehicle can either <coughs> give way to the lane changing behavior or not, or not yielding. They both try to maximize their utilities by adjusting strategies during the game. We call driver utilities the payoffs which are one of the most important parts of game theory-based lane changing models. Now we can list the payoffs of different strategies in this table. For example, if the merging vehicle decides to change lanes, but the lag vehicle finally decides not to yield to that changing, the merging vehicle will finally obtain CM11 and the leg vehicle will finally get CL11 for its payoff. In previous studies, lane changing is hard to describe because driver's motivation and the desire to change lanes are difficult to predict. Looking at some conventional lane changing models, some of them are derived and developed from car following models like the Jeeps model. Based on gap acceptance or discrete choice mode theory, there are also some models trying to review how to change lanes in real world scenarios. Recent artificial intelligence technology could also help autonomous vehicles change lanes more reasonably. Game theory models become popular in recent years and stand at the forefront of lane changing research. It can reveal the interaction of different drivers, but its potential is underestimated in the current stage. For a clear and systematic review of the literature, we, we identified relevant articles with keyword searching engines from Google Scholar and Web Science Database 
and filter them by reading abstracts of them. Finally, we categorize them by their published dates. The number of articles applying game theory into lane changes significantly increased in recent years. By looking at a game theory model, the empirical models learn from real data to calibrate its model parameters in payoff estimations and try to find the best strategies under specific conditions. Some models also find one of the classic solution, Nash equilibrium, when assuming all players in this game are rational enough to make decisions. Besides, some models also consider situations with incomplete information because some of drivers may not know strategies or payoffs of others before the game starts. Compared to the assumption of simultaneous decision-making process, some models also consider the merging vehicle behaves first and the lag vehicle responds later. These are models discussing from the microscopic perspective. Evolutionary lane changing models encourage drivers to cooperate with each other through repeated games, so they know each other well. The cooperation rate will be further increased if they are willing to cooperate with cooperators. We can then summarize their features after reviewing the previous work. For the information structure, most of the studies consider situations with complete and perfect information, where well, few of them think about incomplete or imperfect information cases. Also, there is a debate about static and dynamic games. When talking about payoff estimations, studies consider the cost like safety surrogates and advantages such as time and space. Other factors are also taken into account. For solutions of game theory, most of studies apply Nash equilibrium to simulate how rational drivers make choices. As a summary, Game theory is an excellent tool to describe drivers' lane changing behaviors, but its potential is expected to be mined in the future. Although there have been many game theory based lane changing models, we expect more improvements can be proposed for further applications. Identifying selfish and selfless behavior in the root choice decision, which is the goal of road pricing, also has promise in the lane choice decision. Cooperative behavior can be embedded in a social aware lane changing algorithm for autonomous vehicles, which could be restricted via regulation or motivated financially with tools like variable prices for lane changing under various con conditions. Thank you for watching.